hurricane aircraft of World War II. Its pilot is Group Captain Peter Townsend, CBO, DSO, DFC, and BAR, one of the famous few, the British Air Force flyers who were responsible for saving so many during the Battle of Britain in 1940. Almost 30 years later, Townsend revisited the former RAF airfields, where the anguish and excitement of Britain's 14-week ordeal are being recreated for a movie called The Battle of Britain. Townsend was born in 1914 at the start of the First World War. By 1936, he was an RAF pilot. And by the end of World War II, he had become one of Britain's most distinguished heroes. When the war broke out, I was a flight commander in 43 Squadron. It was at a time when the Royal Air Force was described by somebody very well as the best flying club in the world. After 10 months of phony war, circumstances took a dramatic change. The Battle of Britain started on the 10th of July. I distinguished myself not very much, I may say, by being shot down at 6.30 the following morning on the 11th. I think that he started firing first. He'd seen me. He was probably waiting for me, watching down the barrel of his gun. Anyway, the firing then became general. After a short time, there was quite a loud explosion, as a matter of fact, just in front of me in the cockpit. And I felt nervously to see if my entrails were still in place, and I'm glad to say they were. Anyway, I decided I had to bail out. I went over the side and came down and smashed into the sea. The sight of a hurricane today, or of a Spitfire, revving up its powerful engines is enough to send a thrill through the most jaded arteries. Peter Townsend, who knows this feeling well, recognized it in four Texans, pilots of the privately operated Confederate Air Force. They had been invited to fly some vintage aircraft for the motion picture recreation of the Battle of Britain. As together they inspected the camera plane, an American World War II Mitchell bomber, Townsend was reminded of three other American pilots he once knew. The American pilots whom I knew who fought in the Battle of Britain were Red Tobin, Shorty Keogh, and Andy Mamadoff. They were really adventurers. They had left their homes in America to come and look for a fight. But there were three marvelous guys, and very sad to say that they, told they lost their lives. Near the end of the war, Townsend became equerry to King George VI of England. 1950, five years into peace, and flying had become lighthearted again. Piloting a hurricane in the colors of Her Royal Highness Princess Margaret, Townsend finished second in the King's Cup air race. Now married to a beautiful Belgian girl, Townsend has been writing a book about his experiences during the Battle of Britain. Research for his book has taken him to Germany, tracing his former opponents. In England, he had no trouble finding Battle of Britain authorities. Most of them, including then Chief of Fighter Command, Lord Dowding, are acting as advisors to the Battle of Britain movie makers. It's very interesting from my point of view, rather nostalgic in a way, to come back to these uh, fields and to be among spitfires and uh, almost uh, incredible to find myself stroking Heinkels and Messerschmitts and so on, airplanes which we were trying to destroy and which were indeed were trying to destroy us. Group Captain Peter Townsend, CBO, DSO, DFC and BAR, one of the few who fought through the Battle of Britain and lived to see it fought again.